Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I'm going to try to keep this steady as much as possible. Um, just a little quick walk and talk about a couple things. Uh, I'm going to try to get another study out here in the next few days. Um, but one of the things that I just got to get off, get it out is I'm still getting comments under other people's videos. I'm watching comments and stuff like that about giving gifts. What's the big deal? What's the big deal? And God, uh, we'll probably talk about it. Um, I'm really going to get into the birth of Jesus Christ next month. Um, and uh, that might upset some of the hardcore Christmas people. Oh, we, it's got to be done in Christmas. Can't be done any other time of the year. It's got to be done during Christmas. But um, the gift giving. Okay? People are like, my son, is there some? why is there anything wrong? People just have a big deal. There's nothing wrong if I give my son a gift or my daughter a gift or my wife a gift or so on and so forth. Cousins, grandparents, whatever, mom and dad. Uh, what's the big deal? Well, if you actually read about the wise men, the star started when Jesus was born and they started following the star. And they said that there's a king that is born. Capital K, king. Okay. Let that sink in. Now, when they found Jesus, he was um, under 200. I just, we just rounded off around two years old. We know this because of Herod killing the uh, babies up to two years old. Because um, that was the time that he was told about when the star appeared. So... Yeah, walk slower. These are rocky. Um, so when they get there, this is what happens. They give him gifts. Is it because of his birthday that they gave him gifts? Absolutely not. Read it for yourselves. This is just a walk and talk. I don't have the scriptures off the top of my head. Like I said, when we get into some of the other studies, it'll come across it and we'll be able to talk about it through scripture. But look up the story of when they actually found Jesus. They gave him gifts. Why? I just can't seem to get this through people's heads. That just they love their gifts. It's a flesh thing. Me getting gifts on Jesus' birthday is a flesh issue, and it's all about me. And this is why. They gave him gifts because he's a king. Let that sink in. Not because it's his birthday, because a king was born. He is a king. That's why he got gifts. When someone tries to give me a gift on Jesus' birthday, am I a king? No. But the thing that God showed me that was pretty interesting is, is if you're going to pervert that and turn around and make it about you, I can give my son, my son a gift. I can give my wife a gift. I can give anybody a gift. It's no big deal. If you're going to pervert that, the fact that Jesus got gifts because he's a king, other people weren't getting gifts on their birthday. Jesus got a gift because he was a king. They were giving king gift. Okay. Guess what else they did? They fell on their knees and worshipped him. If you're going to be consistent about perverting that, why aren't you falling on your knees and worshiping who you're giving your gifts to? Worship your son, worship your wife, worship this person, that person. What? Why aren't you being consistent if you're going to pervert it and make it about you and about other people and not about Jesus Christ? So people wonder why I have a big deal against giving gifts. I have nothing against you giving a gift to someone. But when you say that you're sitting there and you're celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ, but you're going to give a gift to somebody else, you don't have a problem with that? There's something wrong with you, okay? You need to check your relationship with the Lord, all right? It's about Jesus Christ. It's not about me. But like I said, it was two things that happened there, and they like to leave out that second part, worshiping Jesus Christ, the King. Okay? The gift, and they worshiped. They will hand in hand. Oh, but but not for us for Christmas. We just give gifts. I don't worship my son. I just give him a gift. I don't worship my daughter. I just give him a gift. Well, the Bible says, this I'll try to quote from memory. Okay? Jesus didn't come to bring peace but a sword. He came to set a man at variance against his father, a daughter against her mother, a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, and a man's foes shall be they of his own household. He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. He that loveth uh, son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. But it makes him happy. And, and it's just a good thing that who do you love more, Jesus Christ or your family members that you're giving gifts to? Well, we got to do it. I mean, just to make people happy. Who's more important? 
And I always come back to that verse about uh, uh, being spoiled through philosophy and vain deceit after the traditions of of the world, after, uh, after the rudiments of the world, after the traditions of men, and not after what? Who? Jesus Christ. That's what Christmas is all about. It's not about going after Jesus Christ. It's about the rudiments of the world and the traditions of men and being um, spoiled through philosophy. All right. So I just wanted to get that out there just real quick with this walk and talk. Another part of this walk and talk, I don't know if some of you guys noticed, I've made some comments. My uh, picture's gone. Okay. I Like I said, this account is falling apart um, gone on there. I've tried to fix it. I've opened feedbacks galore. They don't have tickets. You can't open up a ticket and say, hey, I have a problem. I need you to fix it. You can't do that with uh, with YouTube. It's just send us a feedback. Send us a feedback. So, I mean, you can open up something if they try to take one of your videos down, but I'm just talking about all these errors that are going on, not getting um, notifications. I'm not able to change any information on my account. You know, I can't tell the world I'm a man, even though I had a picture with a beard. What a concept. And now they took the picture away. So I've tried uh, putting the picture back. It's gone. So they're just really just just lots of problems with the YouTube page that I'm using. I don't know. I might start another YouTube page and start all over and just slowly start up great uploading hardcore for a few weeks and then try to get caught up to this one and then just switch over to the new YouTube page. But What's to say it won't start happening over there, too? So I'll have to figure something out. Any advice from the brethren is welcome. It's just it's so frustrating. Um, I wanted to put the ministry title instead of, with my name, just an abbreviation of the ministry title and then my name, and it won't let me change that either. Oh, there's an error. you got to try again later, and it's been doing that for a year. Um, so it's like there's, I just don't know what to do. I'm not very... Uh, I'd have to say internet savvy, as they say, when it comes to fighting these things. So, so that's what's going on with the YouTube page. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about in this walk is I want to thank the brothers and sisters in Christ that donated to the ministry for a camera. I've got the money to get the camera now, uh, a better camera uh, that you know won't have those focus issue problems. It won't be overheating. It's just I was told it's best to wait until January. Uh, around January, I guess, is the te is the official year of the tech people. I'm 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 not a tech guy. Where they come out with the new models and stuff for the different cameras and different things, and the older model tends to go on sale. So I was told if I really want to make the stretch the money and make it go and get a really nice camera, um, to wait till January to do it. So that's what I'm doing. So. Eventually, you'll see better quality, hopefully, and not quality like it has to be 4K, but better quality in the sense that it's not uh, trying to zoom in or focus. Because with the camera I have right now, it's, it's weird, like the tree limb right behind me. Not this camera, but the camera I do my videos, main videos with. It'll try to zoom in on that, focus on that limb behind me, and I'm fuzzy. Then it tries to focus in on me, and that's fuzzy. And it's supposed to be focused on me, uh, so you can actually see me, uh, you know. Uh, not that it's about me, but you want to see the person that's talking, you know, so it's it was having issues, you know, the AI on it's not really working as well as it should, and it's just an old, old camera, so like I said, I just, I'm holding off to see if I can stretch the money, make it go, and maybe be able to buy some things to go with it, uh, I liked, my whole idea was, um, I understand some people's feelings towards uh, sunglasses, but uh, with the cameras, there's a lens you can put on. It's almost kind of like a sunglass glasses, but very light. It's it's basically to help out with the glare. So when I'm on the beach and everything, it'll make it where everything looks better. You can see everything clearer. The colors are better because the glare won't be affecting the camera and everything. And I sit on my deck, and there's a certain time of the day where the sun, the little small portion of the ocean I get to see, the sun will shine on it. Like I call it silver. And it'll be so bright, you really can't see much. But then when I put on my prescription sunglasses and set there, the glare's gone, and it, you can see it looks like silver. Before, it just looks like a bright, like it's blinding you. But you put on the sunglasses, and it takes the glare away, and everything just looks amazing. And that's kind of the feel I want to get when I do my Bible by the ocean side and 
uh, worship by the ocean side when I do uh, Bible study videos on the ocean. Uh, not on the ocean, but near the ocean, on the beaches and stuff. Um, I just want it to look nice. So that's rambling on a little bit, but that's the whole point behind that, just holding off on that uh, to see if I can get it to stretch. So I, I have a couple videos I want to get out this month. One's about Christmas, one's not about Christmas. You know, it's just about us, you know, as far as our walk with the Lord. So I'm going to throw that in there. Um, and then, like I said, in January, I've got some studies for the birth of Jesus Christ. We'll probably get in there. Uh, I do have a uh, family member over visiting, so I'm taking them around to the different cities around the beach, uh, the coast, and showing them the beach and everything. So that's what's going on with that. So just wanted to do a little quick walk and talk, and I hope that uh, and pray that all of my brothers and sisters in Christ out there are doing great. If you're lost, I pray that you get saved, repent, and believe. Um, and just know that that uh, I'm praying for you. I love your prayers, and I thank you for all the. Um, see, sometimes words disappear. Um, encouragement, all the encouragement you guys give me, uh, brothers and sisters in Christ, I really do, and your support through prayer and. Uh, fellowship on the comment section underneath the videos and uh, sometimes the emails and everything which reminds me I haven't responded to a brother in Christ who did an email but I do want to throw this out there I got the email and I will respond today but uh, I just there's a brother in Christ out there who's got saved stands for the truth stands for the King James Bible stands for the Godhead pre-time of Jacob's trouble eternal security all the major doctrines and He's having a tough time because his family's turning against him. They were part of a Babel building system. And those systems, it's almost like it's the biggest example of cult buildings. It really is. It's, it's showing that some people have a hard time coming out of it. And some of you probably could testify to having a hard time coming out of it. But his family, his wife is, you know, following the pastor and listening to the pastor. And she's not listening to her husband. Right? And they're, they're just clinging on to that Babel building. And he's being made out to be the enemy. And he's going through some hard, hard times with his family, with his kids and his wife. So he really needs our prayer. Um, so please pray for Alex. And I just, I'm praying for you, brother. Uh, hang in there. Uh, just continue to, you know, stay with the, stick with the Word of God. Live your life according to the Word of God and make your stands and be a light. You know, Jesus Christ shines through you and be a light to the world. So, on what a real Bible believing, God fearing man is. So, I just wanted to throw that out there. Getting winded. All the, I've been doing a lot of work in between trying to take family around. Um, but uh, just uh, grace and peace from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And my love for you in Christ Jesus our Lord. Thank you for watching.